y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Alex Zedra, obviously. So not too long ago, we did a video where we were shooting a ceramic plate with a 4570. And then I realized, holy crap, this would really suck if you got hit because ribs would probably break. And I was like, wait a minute, as a woman, your breasts would probably explode. And I was like, well, there's actually a very large majority of women that have implants. So it got me thinking, would wearing implants actually protect your bones or vital organs if you were shot. So we're gonna do a test today. So I have a pair of double D silicone implants that we are going to use. <laughs> Behind, uh, we got two different plate. We have a ceramic plate. And then we also have a 3A uh, lightweight plate right here, so. And we also have a punching mat. And the cool thing about this is it reads the power per pounds based on the pressure. So we're gonna see if the implant absorbs any of the pressure from, first we're gonna start with punching and then we're gonna move up in caliber and see what happens. So I'm just gonna get a baseline started just to see where we're at. Obviously, I'm not gonna punch this as hard as I can, but I wanna give it like a nice solid punch just to, so we can see the pressure. And then we're gonna add the implant to it. And I get to do something that I've always wanted to do. I get to punch a titty. I'm not gonna punch it that hard because I don't have a glove or anything and it's cold as shit out here and this is gonna hurt my hand. So we're just gonna give it a little like love tap. 41, 41 pounds. So let's uh, strap a titty to it and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, so we got our implant on there nice and sticky. Feels nice. Let's give it a nice tit punch. All right, so I'm gonna try to do the same distance and the same amount of pressure that I did from the first punch. Okay. 33. Yeah, that was probably about right. So just based off the punch alone, the implant actually took some of the impact. <laughs> so let's shoot it. <laughs> so we're gonna add a 3A ballistic panel in front of this. So that way we don't damage uh, the reader here. We're gonna shoot this a few times so we can get an average baseline of the pressure from the nine millimeter. It'll show us our strength, our average strength, total hits, best record, and the amount of hits. So we'll get a lot of numbers to read off of the first few shots before we add the implant. And to make sure that our uh, panel is secure so it doesn't fall off, I'm gonna duct tape this bad boy. It doesn't go flying off anywhere. Okay, let's shoot it. Today we're gonna to be using nine millimeter. We're gonna be using the Scorpion Evo. Haven't shot that gun in a long time. So I figured we'd bring it out to the range and play with it today. All right, so we're gonna put three rounds of nine millimeter with the Scorpion Evo into our pressure reader, just so we can get a baseline. Here we go. Ready? Yep. I want to hit all three rounds right on top of each other. I just kind of want to get a nice little group. So let's go look at the pressure. All right, so our average strength was 59 pounds. We shot it three times. The best record was 63. So I guess the highest amount of pressure that the nine millimeter gave to this was 63 pounds. So uh, the average strength was 59. So I would say it's a pretty good ballpark to start. Now let's add the implant and see if it changes. All right, the cheapest surgical implant known to men. All right, we're gonna shoot in a different spot. I'm gonna shoot up a little bit higher. I wanna shoot the meteor part of the implant, not the very end, so we can get like a good solid reading. So it's like right above the L where we wanna aim. And then we'll duct tape. Just so it doesn't go flying around. Our average was 59 and our highest power point, or pressure point was 63, so. Keep that in mind when we shoot this three times, see if it gets any lower. All right, three rounds of nine millimeter with the Scorpion Evo. Round number two, this time we've added the implant behind the bulletproof panel. Woo! 
All right, so holy crap, that made a huge difference. So average strength went down to 37. The last hit was 26 and the best record was 55. Out of those three hits, um, I would definitely say that it went down. However, I wanna say the 55, I think might not be accurate because I actually shot below the L here. That didn't really go dead center to the implant like I wanted, but these two did go dead center. So that last one that we hit dead center of the implant was 26 pounds. Oh my gosh, let's see what happened to the implant on the other side. <laughs> well, I would say, you know, based off my uh, experience, I, um, I have implants, obviously. I was not gifted by God. Most women aren't. But getting shot, even with the bullet, it, it caught the round, the rounds did not go through. Um, but look at the damage to the implant. This is a true silicone implant. It won't be exactly what women have in their bodies. I could not get access, obviously, to a medical supply of true double D implants. This is the next best thing that I could legally get my hands on. And the amount of damage that it did to the implant, even though the panel caught all those rounds, just 25 pounds of pressure, still ruptured the implant. So to all the women out there with fake boobies, if you ever get shot in the chest, that's gonna suck and it's gonna be very expensive to fix. Real quick, y'all, before moving on to the rest of the video, I wanna show you guys my newest gun that I've added to my goat gun collection. SVD. Unfortunately, I don't have one of these in real life, but the cool thing about goat guns is more affordable option for me to stare at until I finally get my hands on one of these bad boys. It also came with an optic, but I'm an idiot. I was building my goat gun and a little tiny screw fell out and I lost it. If you're ever building a goat gun, make sure you're over a table or a baking sheet in case you lose any tiny screws because I'm telling you, once they drop on the floor, you're SOL. What makes Goat Gun so unique is that it has realistic details, has loadable magazines, functioning parts, and it's somewhat of a learning experience when you get to put these guns together. To top it all off, they make fun little ornaments for your desk. Ta-da! So get your mini desk gun collection going with Goat Guns and make sure you use code Zedra at checkout to save 10%. So click on the link below and check them out. All right, so we use nine millimeter on the 3A panel. However, I do want to shoot 223 at this to see what happens. Obviously, I can't use uh, the 3A panel because 223 is going to go straight through it. It's going to go straight through the implant and damage uh, the reader. So we're going to use a ceramic plate and do the same thing what we just did. We're going to do nine millimeter and then we're going to do 223. All right, let's reset our reader. All right, we got nine millimeter, three rounds with the CC Scorpion into the ceramic plate so we can get a baseline reading before we add the implant. Damn it. I shot the duct tape. <laughs> Out of the three hits, our average strength was 17 pounds. And then our best record was 24. I think that was the very first hit. 17 pounds is our average. Let's add the implant and see if it changes. By the way, if you wanna see what three shots of nine millimeter looks like to a ceramic plate, there you go. The back is completely, it's got a little bend in it, but it hasn't penetrated through the other side yet. This implant, we're gonna use the same one that we damaged earlier. I only have one pair, so there's no point in ruining two. Seeing the implant right now being pushed up against with this plate carrier, I mean with this ceramic plate, really shows what happens <laughs> underneath my plate carrier, dude. That looks god awful. I just, I wish they made plates that had some curves in there for, for women because when you wear a plate carrier, it just smushes them down and then they go in your armpit because it's just pushing everything out and it's just really uncomfortable. Now we are going to shoot a few rounds around this area. Hopefully we get dead center of the implant and get an accurate reading. Three rounds of nine millimeter with the CZ Scorpion Evo into the ceramic ballistic plate with the implant. So let's see, there's a difference. Wow. 
Just from standing here, I can see it was eight pounds. That made a massive difference. All right, so I shot low on the first one. The other two, we hit dead center of the implant. It says our best record was 33. I'm assuming that's the one that I shot low because it wasn't actually dead center of the implant to uh, absorb the pressure. Average strength is 22. The last one that we shot was eight pounds and that one was dead center. So I think that's more of an accurate e reading is to say eight pounds. Let's check out the implant. <laughs> This implant was pre previously damaged from when we used the nine. So this one might look a little busted, but actually it's uh, not too bad. I don't know if this was there prior. I don't think so. So it might just have been from the pressure kind of causing it to explode a little bit up top. So, all right, I'm gonna use the same implant. Let's do the same exact thing, uh, but with two, two, three. All right, two rounds of two, two, three into the ceramic plate. So you can get our our very first accurate reading. We're only gonna shoot it twice though. All right, we did two hits. However, I'm wondering if uh, the pressure on this mat isn't reading accurately because it's not being punched or hit dead center. We're actually like on the edge. So it's saying 17 average strength, 24 is the highest. Kind of want to shoot dead center to get an accurate reading, but I also don't want to destroy the plate before we put the implant in. All right, so in order to keep I guess the reading kind of similar to each other. We're just gonna flip this upside down and put the implant near the base. So that way we can get a similar reading. All right, two rounds, two, two, three, kind of near the base, around the same spot that we shot earlier with the implant. So we shot a little low. I kind of bring it up a little bit. Um, our reading was 15 and 19. So I'm gonna shoot it maybe one or two more times, a little bit higher just to see what we can get. All right, we still shot low, but we still hit dead center of the implant. <laughs> um, this thing is so nasty, dude. There's like goo all in there. Um, both shots were 17 pounds, so we, it did come down a good bit. All right, so we're gonna reshoot this. Um, the implant is right here, but we're in the meteor like side of the implant. I want to hit like dead center of the implant to get an accurate reading. Um, without the implant, uh, it was 24 pounds. With the implant, it was 17. So I want to see if it'll come down a little bit more if we hit dead center of the implant. So reshoot. That's what I That was the number I was looking for. Dude, all right, let's check out the implant. God. Uh. This poor thing has seen better days, dude. <laughs> all right, so based on our very scientific uh, experiment we just did, we have discovered that actually having fake booby silicone implants does absorb a lot of pressure and power that comes from being shot. That is obviously with a 3A panel and a ceramic plate, but you know, I wanna see what happens when we actually shoot the implant straight up. Will having an implant save your life? Maybe. However, if you did get shot, that is gonna be a very expensive trip to the plastic surgeon to fix. Nine millimeter with the CZ Scorpion into unprotected implant. I would say it took it very well. It was like went straight through it as expected. <laughs> what you say? That shot was a little anticlimactic, but I did enjoy myself today. I hope you did as well. Thank y'all so much for watching. That's a wrap for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you copy and paste the URL link, share with your friends and family. I also have a spare implant and I don't know what to do with this thing. So uh, I don't know, leave a comment below on what y'all think I should do with this spare implant we have. <laughs> See you next time.